some bricks you can turn into gold simple as that some bricks you can turn into gold um sari needs to explain why morata played over 70 minutes today when isn't it already a foregone conclusion that this guy is trash um Mourinho. This is why he's my he's my goal because we're gonna break this this thing down. This is gonna be a long long thing where we try and, and break this whole thing down because that felt more like a United win than a Chelsea win. And the reason why I say that is Chelsea were overwhelming favourites. Chelsea were expected to win. Yeah, the whole turmoil of everything that's happening with United Hazard is one of the most informed players so it's every, all roads led to Chelsea pretty much winning this game but I did say that what would United's approach be and United's approach was it was it was actually a mixture of the two they weren't too open and they weren't too de defensive as in they really, when, when they attacked they really committed guys forward and they were really looking for, for the goal but they were very compact they were very defensive and they did not give Chelsea space to really ex ex exploit but I think the thing that amazed me the most was how quiet Hazard was and how ineffective he was in the game. This has probably been, apart from the Western game, this has probably been Hazard's most in ineffective game. And that just goes to how Mourinho really approaches. Because I told you, United are a schizophrenic team. Because again, I'm like, I look at how they organized themselves, how organized they, they, they were, how they kept themselves in the game. 1-0 down, Chelsea were, you know, pretty much had a control of the game. But United still were still in there. And... They were one or two minutes away from winning the, 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 the game. So, Chelsea, what went... There's no point in me even saying what went wrong. It, it, it does not take a scientist to tell you what went wrong. It is very easy what, what, what went, went wrong. If Giroud starts, Chelsea probably win that game. I don't know what Sarri is trying to prove. And anybody here that, say, that still defends Marta and thinks that Marta will, will come good, you're, you're a fool. I'm sorry. You're a fool if you think that Marta will still come good. Because it's just it's just, it's not working with Morata. And that's but the weird thing is this because whenever I look at this stuff, I say, man, so for, for Sari, you are paid to make these decisions. Decisions that guys like me and guys like, like you guys are that we, we, we can all we can all plainly see that Morata simply doesn't work. He can't hold up the ball. He doesn't know how to connect. And fair enough. Let's say you can't hold up the ball. Let's say you can't link, link play well. At least score. At least get some goals. And he just does not score enough. So there is nothing. He doesn't contribute goals. He doesn't contribute to link up play. He doesn't contribute to hold up play. I don't know what he actually contributes to the team. So if you guys aren't contributing anything, it doesn't make any sense. So, and I, I think for Sarri, are you saying that, oh, you wouldn't play him to increase his confidence? That's a pile of crap. Then play him in a non-consequential game. This is a league game against a top op opponent. Play your strongest team. Mor Morata is not Chelsea's strongest team. Morata is not part of Chelsea's strongest team. So, for me, it was as simple as that. Giroud starts that game. I think Chelsea win it. I do believe that, that Chelsea wins based on the domination that they had for most of the game. Um, Chelsea would have found one, two, three more opportunities to run to um, finish the game off. And again, I think Pedro should have started ahead of William because you know, Sir William is, is this kind of dude where um, he he is a predictable player. He is a predictable player, but last, but but before you couldn't stop his predictability. Almost like this, Robin is a Robin is one of the most predictable players out there, but he's so good. Even if you know what he's going to do, he's still going to get his. That's not the same can be said for William as of right now, where he's, pre pre he's predictable. You can put out data on him of how to stop him, and you can pretty much take him out of the game. So they don't really do not know what William really offered in this. And again, I think Pedro just offers a bit more unpredictability than William has. But yeah, it's as simple as, as that for, for Chelsea. It was a good goal by Rodiger. And again, for David Luiz, man, because I was, I was having a conversation with, 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 with guys about this, that... David Luiz is not a great defender. At best, he's a pretty good defender. He's I. He's an he's an I defender. He's not a like you look at that um the signal of United, that was Luiz's fault. That was Luiz's fault. So there you go there. So for United, man, look, we already know about Martial and what this guy can do. Um and you see, you're not gonna get the best out of Martial under Mourinho. 
But whenever you just see what this guy can do, you see this guy's ridiculous, amazing signs. What, how technically proficient he is. Martial is United's best player because the defense is trash. Pogba is too inconsistent, so it doesn't really show his ability um, fully. I'm not even going to talk about the other dudes as 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 as, as well. So literally, the best player. Most gifted player who really shows us more times than not how gifted he is, is Martial. If this team was built around Martial and was really played to his strengths, I attacking, he's a striker, he's the focal point, they play to his, to his strengths, and all the midfielders try and, and play balls to him that you know that he can play on. So United are a totally different team, they're a totally different beast. But Martial flourishes in a more offensive flare based system that's not what Mourinho is so what you saw from Martial you're not gonna you're not gonna be seeing it on a consistent basis because that's not Mourinho's philosophy I think Mourinho's philosophy is at odds with with the way that Martial approaches the, the game and Martial is a young player so you can tell a, a much older Samuel Eto to play right wing and he'll be pissed off, he'll be disgruntled, but he'll play it under a professional job. You can't tell a young player to play out of position. You can't tell a young player to play wide out left rather than be played as, as, as an inside inside forward. You can't so you have to play to a dude's strength. So it's not a case of like, oh no, li listen to my instructions because I know what I'm doing now. I only listen to your instructions if you're winning games as a whole. That's not happening with Mourinho. And I don't think that Martial not listening to Mourinho's instructions is the reason why they are losing. But for United, it's the same old, same old the, the defense. If United have a Koulibaly, um, a Godin, because I'm not sure what Varane and Ramos are doing, if they have those players in that de de defense, they don't concede those two goals. That first goal, a top defender will realize the threat of Rudiger and will and will be there to try and actually offset him. Because remember, because people were telling me that, oh, Pogba was to was to blame for um Rudiger getting the header in. But if you look at that thing again, you if a top defender is there, he may be watching his man, but a top defender knows that alright, that ball isn't coming to my vicinity. It's coming towards my other vicinity. I have to be quick of thought to know that alright, Pogba is not marking him well. I'm gonna quickly shove off and just put enough pressure on him. Or if you're a top defender, you can be in two minds of like, I am I'm marking my man, but I'm also looking at the, the, the flight of the ball. So I'm, I'm, I've seen my man. It's not getting to my vicinity, but I'm, I'm judging the flight of the ball. Oh my gosh, it's going over to Rodica. I can't leave it to Pogba to defend. Let me get the maybe jump with Pogba as well and make sure that that ball gets cleared, cleared out. And a defender against the, the second goal, a lot of mayhem ha happening. A top defender is in the right place and at the right time, I make sure that that back is not there so to put the ball in from close range. So a top defender really helps your team and that is what United have been missing because a lot of the goals that they've been conceding are by how completely and utterly garbage their defenders are. It's as simple as that. Um, so for, you know, for United, it is, it is painful. Look, my list. Mourinho shouldn't be pissed off for a guy celebrating in front of him yes it's unprofessional yes you, you know it's not really the way that you want to go about doing do, do, doing things but you can't really do that uncle Mo. you can't really do that and um, because you know tensions rise high but i don't know i don't have i understand why Mourinho did it he's back at the bridge you're about a minute or two from having a very famous rare victory at stanford bridge and it was snatched from me right at the last moment. So I can understand him being pissed off. And look, man, I wanted some punches thrown. So look, man, I think overall, man, I think for Chelsea, man, it's it's the same thing again. Chelsea are now winning the, the, the Premier League with Morata and Giro as strikers. It's not, it's not happening. And any people that thought that Hazard could somehow get, what, 20, 30 goals a season off his own back, that's madness. And you've always seen with this team that they need more players. They need better players and they need better players around him. Is William good enough? Is Pedro good enough? Um, Barkley is is young. Giroud, he's there to, fa to fa fa facilitate, but you need a lot, you need more quality around him. And I think it would help if Chelsea just had a striker who could score goals. Like you look at you put Aguero in this Chelsea team, it's a whole different it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. You put Chelsea in this in this team right now, lights out, lights out. It's 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 an easy eat and an, an easy easy eat. So. I think that um, where United are concerned, man, um, 
I said again, Mourinho isn't the, the, the right man. But I don't understand how you can create. So, see, the only criticism they have for Mourinho is, and I get that you've got the Champions League game on Tuesday against you, you, Juventus. You keep, Mar you, you keep Martial on. Go ahead and win the, the game. Just close it out. Leave Martial there. Because remember, United had a lot of good counter-attacks. But again, it's falling to Lukaku, Sanchez, and so forth. Who are, who are both, both bricks. But you, you put Martial out there. I think that maybe United get that third goal and just close the, the game. As based on how desperate Chelsea were to get that equaliser. So for me, that's the only mistake that I made. That's keep him on. Give him, give him the whole game. He's, he's hot. He's got two Gs. He's a constant threat that I think Chelsea would be very mindful of. So yeah, man, look, man, I think... Um, was it the right result, I suppose? Because I believe that the game overall, overall, 90 minutes, I think it was equal, evenly matched. I think in the second half, it's first half was definitely Chelsea's. A long, large period in the second half, definitely United definitely much, much came, came alive. But then Chelsea then came in. So yeah, so final thoughts, Chelsea, I mean, Morata is trash. He's a brick and he should never, ever, 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 ever start a game for, for, for Chelsea again. And trying to make him play out of this rot and trying to actually gain confidence is extremely unprofessional. There is no time at this level for that to, to be happening. And as for United, um, defence. They need better defenders. The, the defenders, time and time again, let them down. If they are the better defenders, they win the game. And you know Martial, you know how amazing he is. And Juan Mata, what more does this guy have to do to prove that he should be a starter in this team? Because Juan Mata is better than a lot of these, these players in this team. So for Mourinho, man, get clued in. All right, peace out. Stay true. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.